Hello everyone. This presentation is brought to you by the final year BTEC data science students of NMIMS University, Mumbai. I am Saloni Tari and along with my classmates Sanika Madgut and Neha Kopikar will be talking about CryptoKitties, a famous dApp based on Ethereum blockchain. So let's begin. First, a brief history. When the game came out in November 2017, no one expected its massive popularity and success outside of the blockchain enthusiast's world. Multiple kittens sold for upwards of $20,000 and a rare kitten even sold for about $1 million. 15% of all Ethereum network traffic at one point was dedicated to this game alone, making it the most popular smart contract on the network. It also got 2 lakh users who spent effectively $20 million within a month of the game's release. When asked about the idea behind this viral game, the founder said that it was to gamify the features that leverage blockchain's unique applications. The game's success by many is attributed to the fact that CryptoKitties hit the mark in effectively teaching consumers about some of the inherent benefits to blockchain without anyone needing a computer science degree and thus making blockchain accessible for mass consumer adoption by using cats. What's crypto about these kitties? CryptoKitties is a cat of thumb mobile game originally developed by Axiom Zen, a Canadian company. These kitties are not cryptocurrency but crypto collectibles. What are crypto collectibles? They are just like Pokemon cards but digital. And in the case of crypto kitties, the kitties are digital collectibles which are built on the Ethereum blockchain. So you can collect unique illustrated cats with specific digital genes which will breed and produce more kitties. And all these kitties that is collectibles can be bought, sold, traded using Ether, a cryptocurrency. CryptoKitties is decentralized and every transaction in the game is locked and stored in the Ethereum blockchain. Your digital cat can't be deleted even if the company shuts down or the game is sold off to some other company. Faking ownership or losing your cat is virtually impossible. Unique ownership The physical appearance and the gene traits of a cat are stored in a smart contract and are immutably recorded on the Ethereum blockchain. Every kitty on the game has a unique appearance and the owner of that cat is the only one with access to its unique combination of traits. Each kitten has a 256-bit genome that holds the genetic sequence to all the different combination of traits that a kitten can have. Currently, there exist 4 billion possible combination of cats based on these traits which the founders call cat tributes. Pricing is determined by supply and demand. Fancy cats with rare traits, for example cats that look like birds, vampires or sailors, go for more than the common cats. And to complicate matters, some cats may have unusual recessive genes that will make their offspring more valuable. NFTs First, let me talk about fungible tokens. Fungible tokens are indistinguishable and interchangeable. For example, if I have a $5 bill, then I can exchange that bill with Sanika for an equal value of $5. Bitcoin is also a fungible token. Non-fungible tokens or NFTs can't be swapped, as no two NFTs are alike. Each blockchain-based cat is unique. So if I send Neha a CryptoKitty and receive a CryptoKitty from her in exchange, and the one that I receive will be completely different from the one that I have sent. And this concept of unique tokens that are valuable, precisely because they are scarce and distinguishable, is called digital scarcity. It emulates real-world physical scarcity. These NFTs can be programmed, stored and implemented on any blockchain which supports the ERC721 standard. Let's do a deep dive into the key mechanics of the game. The game is run via a set of 6 Ethereum smart contracts 
and users interact with it via their own Ethereum address. Currently, the easiest way to do that is by using the Chrome extension MetaMask, which gives you the ability to send and receive Ethereum directly in your browser. You would then navigate to the CryptoKitties website, which is essentially an interface to interact with your smart contracts so you can buy, sell, and breed kittens. Open Source CryptoKitties open sources its API and smart contracts which can be used to build other apps or games on top of CryptoKitties. Such games can have cat fights, racing, and have accessories for the CryptoKitties, etc. Thank you. Over to Sanika. Thank you, Saloni. I am Sanika Mhargut, and I will be explaining about the key features and the architecture of CryptoKitties. What is gas? Each transaction on must be verified by the ETH miners which requires a transaction fees to be paid to the miners, which is known as gas. The cost per transaction depends on the volume of transactions and mining capacity of Ethereum at any moment. During times of high volume, the cost can shoot up. As the game becomes more and more popular, the transaction times were slowing down. To solve this problem, the developers decided to increase the gas fees to make sure that people didn't have to wait long periods of time before their crypto kitty transaction was completed. Gen Zero Cats These are cats which do not have any parents and are released by the company itself. Because of their scarcity and highly desirable attributes, these are the most expensive and valuable cats. Genesis was the first Gen Zero cat which was sold at approximately $140,000 which is more than three times the all-time high price of Bitcoin. Only 50,000 Gen Zero cats can exist. Some of these Gen Zero cats were released during the first year, were sold in a smart contract on Ethereum blockchain. They are sold by descending clock auction, that is, sellers choose a high opening bid and a minimum closing bid and a time frame for which their auction is to be run. Buyers are able to choose their purchase price along that spectrum by purchasing when the th price aligns with their perceived value of CryptoKitty being sold. As long as someone else doesn't buy it before them, buyers can pay gas when they complete a purchase and sellers pay gas to initiate an auction. The company receives the revenue from sale of these cats. Accessing and breeding cats Two crypto kitties can breed to produce a new cat, that is genetic combination of its parents. The breeding algorithm has been kept secret by the company. When a new crypto kitty is born, they inherit some attributes from their parents. It's like a newborn human baby. They might take their mother's black hair and father's nose. Anticipating the outcome is exciting and possibilities for the new and rare genetic makeups of crypto kitties are endless. In each breeding pair, one cat acts as the sire and will have a recovery period before it can breed again. The second cat, the dame, incubates the kitten during which time it cannot engage in another pairing. The new breeding cat will belong to the owner of the female dame. There is no limit to the number of times a crypto kitty can be breed. Some cats breed faster, some slower. This makes rare kitties that can breed and breed faster ex extreme values. When, a, when, you desire a, when you desire to breed, the individual binary codes of the female dame and male sire are sent to the blockchain and the smart contract returns a new code, which is a newborn crypto kitty. This code is rendered into a beautiful artwork shown by the website. Crypto kitty owners may place their cats available for sire on the market by selecting a maximum opening bid for the siren, a minimum closing bid, and a time frame for each auction. Each crypto kitty will be priced differently and will depend on how rarely they, their owners they are own. Owners who want to breed their cats may do so by choosing a sire and paying the current descending clock auction bid associated with the sire they want to breed with. 
There are two parts of cost breeding new kitties, a transaction fee and a birthing fee. The breeding fee goes to to auto birthers, community run bots and smart contracts. The breeding smart contract was set up to allow people from community to call a give birth function whenever a kitty is due. This system was put in place so the company was not responsible for birthing the new kitty kitties. Any techno savvy enough can call this function which makes the birthing totally decentralized. Whenever someone successfully calls the give birth function, they get the breeding fee as a reward for helping out. The Siring smart contract releases the sire cat for breeding to buyers after the payment. The company also takes a 3.75 fee for of all transaction on their site. Architecture Front end The front end that will also contain a code to render artwork from a 256 bit genome of cats. Library contracts Front end connection to wallet. The third party wallet will securely connect to the blockchain network. Additional functions Combining the genotype of two parent crypto kitties to determine the genotype of the new crypto kitty. Managing the auction of crypto kitties, managing the siring, auctions, etc. Smart contracts As shown in the exit, exit, adjacent picture, crypto kitty access control. The contract assigns special roles to the developer. This contract sets the management system of the entire contract and defines the management roles like CEO, etc. CryptoKitty Base Kitty Base is the most important contract as kitty definition is concerned. This is where we set ground rules for kitty creation. As shown in the previous slide, kitties are defined as a structure with many variables. It also keeps tracks of the kitty owners. Crypto Kitty Ownership The kitty in the crypto kitties are non-fungible because each kitty is not created equally. You can't simply exchange one kitty with another. The kit crypto kitty tokens follows ERC721 formula. Crypto Kitty Breeding This is the contract where we set the functions required for the two kitties to breed and produce a new kitty. Child gen genes are created by calling the genscience.mix genes function as shown in the picture. The breeding algorithm is super secret and is handled by the contract that implements genscience interface. The algorithm is closed source and not open to the public. CryptoKitty auctions. Here we have the public methods for auctioning or bidding on cats or siding services. Auction creation and bidding are most mediated through this core contract. Crypto Kitty Minting Here COO has the power to create promo cats and Gen 0 cats. There is a limit to the pro number of promo and Gen 0 cats that can be created. Crypto Kitty Core This is the main contract that runs on the Ethereum blockchain. This contract inherits all the functions from the previous contracts. Thank you. Over to Neha. Thank you, Sanika. I am Neha Kopikar, and I will be walking through the steps to get started with CryptoKitties and also point out a few important aspects of this company. This is what the homepage of CryptoKitties looks like. To get started, we have to click on the Start Meow button which will redirect us to the MetaMask page. MetaMask is a crypto wallet that helps in accessing dApps for authentication purposes. Once authenticated by MetaMask, we land on a page that helps us buy the Ethereum currency on Coinbase. The next step is the fun step, exploring the kitties at the marketplace. This is where we can filter out our desired kitty based on our preferred attributes and pricing. Once we have chosen our eKitty, we purchase the kitty using the Ethereum we had previously purchased. Now, this is not where the transaction ends. Once we request to purchase a kitty, our purchase has to be verified by independent miners on the blockchain after which the purchase is complete and we are a proud owner of the kitty we chose. 
We can also try out different combinations and breed new kitties with the one we had purchased and have more fun. Now let us understand a bit more about the company. Education through gamification. Blockchain is a really complicated concept, especially for beginners. People who are already aware of this technology know what smart contracts and distributed ledgers are. But it becomes a daunting task for people who do not understand this technology and want to learn it. To introduce something complex, making it fun works. And therefore, CryptoKitties is a platform that helps us learn blockchain using the education through gamification approach. Innovations. The artwork and content is unique, making it seem like you are collecting artwork. Users can create new content through breeding and it involves the concept of decentralized ownership and trading in the collectibles market. CryptoKitties has demonstrated frictionless international trading of digital assets on a blockchain at a large scale. The game has proven that assets can be managed and traded in a decentralized manner without the in involvement of intermediaries. If CryptoKitties was treated as a peer-to-peer -peer digital assets exchange, it would provide proof of concept. Sustainable Revenue and ICOs Initial coin offerings, ICOs, have proven themselves a viable funding model for blockchain projects. The mechanics and goals for the two models are similar, but in the case of CryptoKitties, it offers genuine utility to the user upfront. For instance, most ICOs promise to build whatever technology they are pitching with a white paper. Investors send cryptocurrencies to the ICO issuer and then wait for the tech to be built. In the meantime, the ICO may issue a token and allow investors to trade it, which gives rise to speculative prices around an unbuilt piece of technology. With CryptoKitties, the software is already functional. The CryptoKitties game amounts to a sort of token sale, except the tokens are the kitty. Inadequate architecture. The game clock Ethereum's network during the peak of its popularity. Dealing at least one token sale and forcing CryptoKitties to raise its fees, leading to, leading to criticisms that Ethereum clearly lacks the scale to handle such demand. The clogging of the network led to transactional issues. The volatile pricing of Ether also led to absurd sale prices of the collectible cats. IP ownership Though the owner of, the, of a CryptoKitty owns the code or genes of the cat, the company owns the graphics and visual artwork, so the artwork is copyright protected. According to the company, since each cat is unique, the corresponding artwork is composed of multiple elements uniquely assembled together. It's therefore necessary for Dapper Labs to authenticate ownerships and traits for each cat to maintain uniqueness and provide the necessary visuals for the game to exist. Users could always create their own artwork and third-party experiences that rely on the underlying player-owned cat data in the absence of Dapper Labs artwork. But this all goes back to the evolving question of maintaining the promise of decentralization via blockchain while also balancing the need for companies and the government agencies to intervene when necessary. Thank you for joining us. We hope you found this presentation useful.